Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can build a 4 bit parallel binary adder using the IC of a 4 bit binary parallel adder. Okay, so usually you can actually build such a circuit, a 4 bit binary parallel adder, using 4 full adders. Okay, you can actually build it using 4 full adders, but we're not going to uh, demonstrate it using 4 individual full adders. We're going to be using an IC. Okay, so there are two different ICs. Uh, by which we can actually build such a circuit. So I'm gonna show you uh, how to take those circuits in uh, Proteus simulation software and how to build that uh, How to take those ICs in our Proteus simulation software and how to build that uh, whole construction. Okay, so uh, Let's begin So as you see our uh, IC numbers are given here. So the left one here uh, is shown as 74283 and the right one here is shown as 7483 okay so both of the ICs can actually work in our case so uh, at first I'm gonna uh, build our circuit using this one okay 74283 I'm gonna be using this IC and I want to build a 4-bit binary parallel adder okay so this is basically the IC of a 4-bit binary parallel adder so let me show you so uh, if I go to Proteus simulation software and I want to take that 74283 IC then I can just write it uh, write its number 74283 and as you see there are all the uh, uh, all the ICs mentioned uh, which falls under this family 74283 so I want to select the very first one right here 74283 okay you can see that it is already written here at the uh, description part 4-bit binary full adder with fast carry okay so this is actually uh, the IC that is mentioned here 74283 so I want to take this and I want to start building okay so let me just uh, put my IC in my interface over here okay so I'm gonna be building this at this side uh, okay so let me just move a bit left okay so this is my IC right here okay so this IC is known as 4-bit binary parallel adder IC Okay, as you can see that the pin numbers are already mentioned here uh, 5, 3, 14, 12 and you can see that in our uh, diagram it is actually the same. Okay, so uh, just like this one the C0 is connected at pin number 7. Okay, and you can see uh, from our IC diagram drawn here you can see that C0 is actually connected at pin number 7 and then if you take a look at the inputs uh, for since we are uh, building a 4 bit binary parallel adder so basically our target is to add 4 bits with another 4 bits okay so uh, these are the inputs here a0 a1 a2 and a3 and they are connected at 5 3 14 and 12 uh, number pins respectively and you can see from the ic diagram that input uh, a1 a2 a3 and A4 are given here instead of A0, A1, A2, A3. So basically we're starting uh, the counting from A0 here and we're starting the uh, count from A1 here. Okay, so A1 is connected at pin 5 and A2 is connected at pin 3 and you can see right here that A0 is connected at pin 5 and A1 is connected to pin 3. Uh, so it's the same. Okay, so just uh, one difference is that we are uh, starting our count from A0 here and uh, we're starting our count from A1 here. That's it. Other than that everything is same. So this is basically the IC uh, which resembles this IC diagram okay 74283 so now that we have already placed our IC in our interface so now we just want to connect the inputs and check the output so we want to add four bits with another four bits okay and we'll be getting a result so if we add four bits with another four bits then basically we can get at most uh, five uh, bit output all right because uh, if we add four bits with four bits uh, generally you might think that you will be getting a four bit output but uh, think carefully because if you add four bit with another four bits then you might end up with a carry two 
okay yeah, so in that case your output can be maximum of five bits so these are the inputs a0 and a2 a3 and uh, b0 b1 b2 b3 okay so this is one number and this is the other number and these are the outputs a0 s1 s2 s3 the four sum parts actually so these are the outputs and c4 is also an output which is actually the final carry out okay so c4 is the final carry out here so uh, these five pins right there are actually indicating our outputs okay so uh, c0 is also an input and when whenever we want to build a 4-bit binary parallel adder circuit then uh, we'll put 0 at c0 okay that's because c0 is actually the initial carry so let me just write it down here for your understanding so c0 is known as initial carry okay so let me just move it yeah c0 is known as initial carry uh, so the initial carry is always zero because whenever you add a number with another uh, like uh, let's say that you want to add 0000 with 1111 okay so let me just uh, move down here and i'll be writing the numbers okay 0000 and you want to add 1111 with it so whenever uh, you are adding those then at the very first part you can see right here you can just change it okay so at the very first part when we add one with one then at this part there is no initial carry right there can't be any carry so that's why initial carry will always be zero and from the next part we'll be getting our carries like one one uh, if we add them up and then we'll be uh, getting sorry if we add them up then we'll be getting a zero at right here one one so zero and one will be carry and that carry will go into the next place okay so from next part we might uh, get a carry but at the initial part we'll never get a carry when we add four bit numbers with another four bit numbers okay so that's why the initial carry uh, will be zero okay so let's continue our circuit i'm just gonna delete this part or maybe I can just keep it I can just uh, measure it down a bit okay okay so this is the initial carry okay so now I want to connect the inputs and outputs so to connect the inputs I need to take logic states uh, yeah okay so logic states and for output i want to take some green leds okay. you can take any color you want but i'm gonna be using the green one okay so uh you can see that we have four uh five outputs and we have basically nine inputs okay so i want to use the logic state nine times so let me connect them one by one So these four are for the upper part and now the lower part. All right, so these are all the inputs that are required for this IC to work. And there will be five LED lights. All of them will be used for uh, outputs. So I'm gonna take them uh, sequentially so that we can easily understand them. Okay, now I have placed all the necessary LEDs and all the necessary inputs. So I want to connect them now. So let me just connect them. So I'm connecting the very first part here, the first face of the input and now the second input right there. All right. Yeah, so I'm done with the connections only this one is left and yeah, I've connected all the necessary inputs and Similarly, I will also connect the outputs Okay, so I have just uh, placed them a bit uh, bottom here and I've connected all the LEDs with my output lines and uh, For these LEDs to work. I also need to kind of ground with them so I'm gonna take one ground connection and 
I want to connect and I want to connect my LEDs with this ground connection otherwise the LEDs won't work okay yeah so I have connected all my LEDs to this ground so right now my circuit is basically complete so uh, I can check now okay but before I go into checking I want to uh, I want to write something here like which one is my MSB or which one is my LSB okay so in case of inputs uh, A3 will basically be my MSB for this first part okay so I want to write that down here so MSB and let me just measure it down a bit yeah so A3 is my MSB okay and similarly uh, for the second part right here sorry B3 will my uh, will be my MSP okay so B3 will be my MSP so since A3 is my MSP then A0 will definitely be the LSP right so I also want to write that just so that you don't have any kind of confusion and in this case B0 will be the LSP okay so hopefully you are getting it I'm just writing it down for better understanding alright so all the MSBs and LSBs are already figured out in this case and for the outputs I'll also be marking them based on MSB and LSBs alright so I have already marked uh, the outputs too uh, all the MSBs and LSBs are mentioned now in our figure so now let's run the circuit okay so you have to understand that how this circuit will work basically uh, I'll be inputting a 4-bit number and then I'll be inputting another 4-bit number and since this is a uh, this is an adder IC so this IC will add them up together and then it will produce a result at this right side over here okay so let's check it out so let's run the simulation so right now all the inputs are zero basically c0 will always be zero because it is the initial carry the initial carry will always be zero so i just want to change these inputs okay so right now all the inputs are zero so the output is definitely zero i am adding four zeros with other four zeros so the output will definitely be zeros all right so right now let me change the input so at first yeah so at first let me show you what I want to add so I'm just gonna write it down here so let's say I want to add 0000, 0, 0, 0 uh, with 1111 1, 1, 1, right so uh, if I add them up together then the result we, I should get is actually 1111 1, 1, 1, right so from that I should be getting a result of 1111 1, 1, 1 that's correct right? if I add them up together then I should be getting 1111 1, 1. okay so let me check it so the first input should be all zeros and the second input should be all ones okay so if I change them to all ones and you see that I'm getting actually 1111 1, 1, 1, right I'm getting 1111 1, 1, 1, and since I have added uh, 4 bits with 4 bits uh, even though the maximum output we can get is actually five bits but in this case we are getting only four bits there is no final carry right there is no carry we are adding just zero with one so it produces one and then another one and then another one and then another one so there is no final carry that's why this button right here this led light here uh, is not lit up so it is currently off now that means it is indicating zero so the final result is zero one 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 okay so this is basically our result what it should have been right so this is working correctly so let me check it with another example so let's say I want to uh, ignore the first two zeros here so right now I'm adding 0000 with 0011 right so I should be getting 00011 in my uh, out sorry I'm adding basically 0000 with 0011 here right here uh, you should consider the MSBs and LSBs while checking this circuit otherwise it will get really confused so you see the first number here is 0000, 0, 0, 0 and the second number here I have put uh, 1 and 1 uh, in the left most 2 bits uh, starting from MSB here so 1100 0, 0. so uh, if I add those two together then I should be getting uh, 0 1 1 0 0 at my output right and I'm getting this 0 1 1 0 0 I'm getting this at the output so uh, if you just uh, take a look 
at what I'm saying you can easily see that right at this part if I add 0, 0, 0, 0 with 1, 1, 0, 0 then the result which I should get is actually 1, 1, 0, 0, right? 1, 1, 0, 0 and you can see that when I run this circuit I get 1, 1, 0, 0 and since we are adding 5 bits so that's why the first bit is 0 so since there is no carry out okay so let me uh, show you using another example alright so right now I want to add four ones with another four ones okay so the, my first number is one on one on and my second number is one on one on two so I want to add them up together and if I add them up then I should be getting something like this one 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 zero okay so let me check it out so uh, yeah I run the simulation and I'm putting one 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 here and the other number will be that two and yeah so if I add them up together you can see I'm getting one 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 zero just like we got the result when we did it with uh, um, our own uh, I mean when we did it uh, without using a simulation okay so we got the same result one 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 zero okay so if I just change it uh, let's say I want to add one 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 with maybe one 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 uh, yeah so maybe zero zero one one okay so I'm adding now one 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 with zero one 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 with zero zero one one okay so the result I should be getting is actually one zero zero one zero and I'm getting this one zero zero one zero okay so by now you should be able to understand how this circuit actually works and uh, you have seen that this is actually working uh, perfectly okay so let me just uh, give you another way so that you can actually verify the answer yourselves okay so let's uh, let's say that you want to give input like 0011 at one number and 0011 at the other number okay so make sure that uh, you are checking out the msbs and lsbs in these cases so the first number here is 0011 uh, starting from msb which is actually indicating 3 in case of decimal right 0011 and we are also inputting 3 here 0011 starting from msb so if we add 3 and 3 then we should be getting 6 at the output and you can check this out that uh, at our output if this is msb and this is lsb then we are actually getting 6 here so 00110 so which actually indicates the binary number of 6 right so let me check it for another one okay okay so uh, what if uh, we want to add one only one okay zero 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 one starting from msb so this is indicating one in decimal and at the second number we are giving all ones here so that means it is indicating 15 right so basically we are adding 15 with only one right so 15 plus one should be 16 and the binary of 16 is actually one zero 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 and we are actually getting that at the output right the msb part is one and all other bits are zero which is actually indicating 16 here right so this is how we are actually uh, we can actually verify whether our circuit is actually all right or not so you can see that our uh, circuit works perfectly and you can now uh, you should be able to build it now okay so hopefully you understood so if you have any questions please uh, comment that and i uh, will try to answer that and hopefully you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.